And there's nothing quite like seeing a tiger in the wild. The grandeur, the beauty is just awe-inspiring. When you think about that animal being reduced to a rug, for me, it just galvanizes me to want to do more um, to protect that, that magnificent animal in the wild. Tigers are now um, in terrible jeopardy. Populations have plummeted from 100,000 or so 100 years ago to no more than 3,200, maybe even less today. Right across the whole range from, from Sumatra up to Siberia, we've had massive population crashes and we're down to these critically low numbers. The core populations are, seen, are, are slowly getting wiped out. Like for example, we had Suklafanta, which was the highest density of tigers recorded anywhere. Today we have six, seven tigers left. We simply don't have the enough resources on the ground at this point in time to keep them secure. We're still losing tigers every day. Three subspecies of tigers have already disappeared. We don't want that to happen to the remaining tiger subspecies. By far the largest threat facing tigers is poaching. In some places um, they are shot, in others they're snared, in others they're poisoned, but the, the poaching really is rife across the whole range. Once the tiger was poached, every part of the tiger is taken away by the poachers and you can hardly find a trace. Basically for wildlife criminals, the tiger is worth more dead than alive, broken down into all its body parts packaged, shipped and sold into different component commodities. Uh, almost every part of the tiger has a use in either traditional medicine or folk beliefs. Um, you know, I've met people who believe that the skin has magical properties, you can wrap it around a sick person, it'll heal them. Obviously there's the ornamental uses of skins. Tiger bone is believed to have um, medicinal properties. Even the whiskers in some cases are used and the tiger meat is also uh, eaten. So unfortunately, um, a lot of these old beliefs have now coupled up with new money uh, and that's a disastrous equation for tigers. The drivers are definitely coming from uh, numerous places. The magical issues around tigers is found in Sumatra. The, the pelt issue is primarily in Tibet. Um, tiger as an exotic meat um, is generally Vietnam. The, the tonic issue um, is primarily China. And the US is one of the largest consumers of wildlife products anywhere in the world. Um, so there are always um, issues in the US. It certainly is affecting the US. Americans import these things illegally. Americans go away and they buy things like uh, skins of endangered animals. This, this is a, uh, a problem that we Americans need to uh, focus on. What's challenging in this latest crisis is the scope and scale of the problem and the involvement of organized crime, uh, which, which makes it uh, a harder nut to crack. We have to address it in the way it requires, which is taking very tough action, and not just the U.S., but working with other countries. We've already seen some, some real success in getting attention at high levels of government. We're working closely with governments uh, in, in Asia to uh, help them better deploy enforcement resources uh, and technologies to patrol the areas of most importance to tigers. Uh, and we're working with our own government to continue to support and provide resources to the field where tigers are most critically in need of protection. So there is hope that we can, can see the change we need, but we clearly need to do a whole lot more. We need better or stronger enforcement. At the moment, it's a very low priority for governments. We need people to go out there and to really push and to really say this is an issue that's important. So if you join our campaign, you can help us by putting pressure where it's needed at the highest political levels. But on top of that, every single individual can play a role in, in reducing demand. If you ever have a conversation with your friends or you ever hear of anybody interested in buying tiger products, have a very strong message to everyone you meet that the buying tiger products is unacceptable. We have a special responsibility to make sure that we are leading the world, showing people that there are ways to mobilize society to care about endangered species, to take actions that will help promote their conservation and equally as important, avoid those actions that lead to 
illegal poaching and trade. We owe it to our children and our grandchildren to leave them a world that has tigers in the wild, in secure populations. If we lose the tiger in the wild, the world's going to be a lesser place. To me, the definition of humanity is partly measured by how we treat our fellow species on the planet. We have the, the power and the resources to conserve tigers forever. The question is, do we have the will? And if we do not have that will, I really think we've lost part of our humanity.